So it is Sunday, kind of a cool day, and I'm out with Kyle. We went fishing earlier this morning. We didn't have any luck catching fish, so we thought we'll go do a little dirt fishing. Um, and we just got started, and he's like called me over. He had a signal. He's like, man, this sounds like an Indian, and it is an Indian. So that is an awesome start. Oh, dude, love the patina. Any idea of the date? 1902. Look up. 1902. That is. Let me get that to focus right here. Beautiful coin. Way to go, man. Thank awesome. You, man. All right, so Kyle got that Indian a little while ago back there. I just got a mid tone. Went ahead and dug it out. I was thinking nickel. It was really sounding like a nickel. I'm not sure what this thing is, but it's kind of interesting looking. Whatever it is, I'll keep it. It's not precious or anything, but something. Got to start somewhere. Hopefully, we're going to find some cool stuff. Pretty cool starting out with an Indian, so we'll see where, where it goes from here. All right, we're back. Kyle just called me over. He had something kind of interesting. Dug a hole a mile deep. He's killing it with this E-Track. He's got me very curious about E-Tracks, let me tell you. He dug a very cool old find. It's a harmonica reed. It's bent. Yeah, that is exactly what it is. An old harmonica reed. You know, if you try to bend it back, it'll break probably. I've yeah, had that it's happen. So brittle. I've actually never found a whole one like this before. No, that's cool, man. I've found them several. That's kind of weird. For, a lot of times I find them, they're straight still. But either way, we're on an old site. We got an Indian. We got that. We're going to see. There's a lot of potential here. Way to go, man. Thank you. All right. What was it? It's a big piece of copper. Big piece of copper. Weird. This is what I, I... I don't know if it's play money or a token. Kyle, tell me what you think. Hold on one second. Let me focus on it here. And I just pulled that out. Is that token or is it play money? Does it say sale up there at the top or SA something? It's That's 95 something. Okay. I'll we'll have to clean it up probably when I get home. Yeah, you'll have to clean that. It, it may be like play, play money. money. Yeah, it does. It's light like play money anyway. That, that's kind of cool. We'll take that. All right, back again. I had that play money, and I just found this. It's a weedy, but it's got a really pretty patina on it. Pretty good one. Well, I can't see. I couldn't see the date on it. We'll check it. I had to go get me some batteries, and when I came back, Kyle was filming something. He's got, man, these have a great patina. It's a wheat penny? Yep, 25S. And it looks green like an Indian. They're pretty, too. This ground is kind of loamy, you know? It's yeah. good, pretty awesome. Way to go, dude. Thanks. All right, I just got a really good signal. Kyle was over there. I called him back over here. I pulled, it was hitting numbers that say silver quarter. He's like hijacking my coin here. It's there was mine. This, this was in there with it, a piece of that. He said it looks like an SLQ. I'm going to let him, what do you got there? I told you it's an SLQ. SLQ? Yeah. Boom! <laughs> I, I don't think I've dug an SLQ this year. Oh, oh it's dated. God. It has, it's 1918. Oh my gosh, I just dug an SLQ. I'll take that. Yeah. Dude, way to go. <laughs> so cool. That was slamming. It was down here. Pretty good ways down there. Oh but my god! Don't rub it anymore. It's no, I'm not. I've got water in the truck to spray it. Oh, it's so a 1918D, dude. 1918D. Yes, that, I think that's a key date. I'm gonna spray it off. I'm gonna go put it in the truck. So that's our first silver. He, he's even smiling. I'm more excited than you are. <laughs> I know it. Awesome. All right, we're gonna keep going. We're just getting started, so we're gonna see. We got an Indian SLQ, some Wheaties, looking good. I just dug. Uh, what is it? A buff? That's a buffalo. Is it really? All right, I just dug two weed. I dug a weedy, covered it back up. I had another signal, pulled another weedy. There got to be old weedies, and then a 1919 buffalo. Awesome. So cool. That is awesome, dude. That is a good one. I don't find a lot of buffaloes. I need to find more. I need to dig more nickel signals. That is so sweet. All right, we're going to keep going. All right, I am back. I dug that buffalo right over there. Buffalo and two weedies out of one hole. I came right over here, got another nickel signal, and pulled this. I don't know if that's coming through right there or not. It's a V nickel. Let me see if that'll help it a little bit. Hold on one second. Bear with me. I'm trying to clean it up so I can show you guys. That may have helped. The heck, I don't know if that helped it or hurt it. There it is. There's the V. Right there. Just found that. So I am really happy with that. I haven't even looked at the date of it yet. I don't even know if I can see it with my old eyes. It looks like 18 something. We'll have to look at it in the wrap up. 
but it is good find. I'm happy to have it. All right, so I just dug that V nickel back there. Did you look at the date on that V, Kyle? Uh, 1907. I, uh, was, okay, 1907. I Kyle called me over. I was over there a little ways over there, and he's like, dude, I got another Indian, and he has got this. He's murdering the Indians. That's his second one. I'm just hoping to find an Indian. Man, that's that's awesome. Let's see if it has the S mark. Nope, no S. Just a 1908 plane. Killer coin, though. Way yeah, to go, dude. Love it. Thanks. Awesome. All right, so I don't even remember what we had last, but... My Kyle, Indian. Oh, your Indian. He dug an Indian. He dug a buffalo to go with his Indian. So two Indians. He's got two Indians and a buff now. What year is that one? That is a uh, 1927. 1927. Nice. I, I like the way you've done that. Very nicely done. Way to go, dude. Thanks, sir. We're going to try a live dig again. We both we got one hitting really, really good here. and We're finding some really oldies. This one sounds silver. And Kyle hit it on his E-Track. It sounds silver to me on my AT Max. So we'll see. It may it's not so be... Gladly. It had everything it needed to be silver. Old glass. Old glass. That's an old bottle. Part of an old bottle. I dug part of an old bottle earlier. Small pinpoint. It was down there a ways. I'm gonna probably scratch the crap out of whatever it is. Getting down to that's that's way deeper than anything else has been. So who knows? Ugh. Lots of gravel in here, so. Yeah, that, it's weird up this end. There it is. I'll be darned. Huh? We're like jinxed by the live dig. That's. Oh well. That oh well. Happens. That happened. Yep. All right, I had a weird signal, decided to go after it, and it was kind of chasing around trying to find it, and it's this little tiny, non-precious so cool. ring. It's one of those, no, it's not adjustable. It must have broke. I'll clean it up better when I get home. It's kind of interesting. I would suspect that it's very old. We haven't found anything modern here. In fact, we have not found any modern. Dang it, I lost my ring. We have not found anything modern as far as clad even no modern clad just all the oldies you're seeing us dig which is really amazing so we're gonna keep going back again nothing spectacular but the reason i'm showing it to you it is a clad dime and out of all the things you've seen on this video i'm pretty sure and i just talked to kyle just a little while ago he's over there i talked to him a little while ago and he hasn't had any clad yet that's the first clad coin we've dug so you've seen us dig buffalo v nickel two Indians, SLQ, I don't know, wheat pennies, we've dug a bunch of wheat pennies, that's the first clad coin, so this is really a unique spot for us to get to hunt, where we're not finding not modern stuff, and there's not a lot of trash either, so it's really nice. We're going to keep going. All right, I got a really kind of cool signal, it was so funny, because Kyle and I were just talking about this earlier today, we were talking about that he, the fact he's dug like three really, really awesome skeleton keys, uh, he dug one of them with me um, not too long ago. And um, I've only dug one in my lifetime, a really neat one. It's, it's one of those things, you know, it's a treasured find of mine because I've only got one. It's an old, old, cool skeleton key. I just had a strange signal here. I popped it up and I got that. So that is so dang, oh, it's like really heavy too for how little it is. I don't know if it's broke off or if that's just how it, I think that's just how it was. Maybe it's broke off. I don't know. I'll look, but how neat is that? Those are the kind of finds that's going to go in a Riker case. It's going to go in a Riker case in my house on display because it's such a cool thing. I'm really, really giddy about that. That's an awesome find. We're still going, um, finding little odds and ends here and there, so we're going to keep digging. All right, just had another target. I have not found it yet. I'm hoping for an Indian. Kyle's got two. I don't have any Indians yet. I'd love to have one. Not, not that I'm greedy. I'm very happy with what I got, but Indians are cool. You can see that indention right there. There was a something stuck there. It's gonna be some kind of penny. I don't know where it went. I'm gonna get my pinpointer real quick and find it. Oh, it fell right there. Okay. Probably gonna be a weedy. Which is fine. Yep. Another wheat penny. Very cool find. I will take that. So we're gonna keep going. Finds are getting a little harder to come by now. All right, I'm back again. Kyle just dug a weedy. Right, where was the other one at, Kyle? Uh, right there? Right, here. right there, and he just pulled another Look one. Look at, at these one. weedies. That one is beautiful, dude. Yeah. That is amazing. They've got this green patina on them. They look like Indians. they got an Indian patina. 
This one is. That is awesome. What what is it? A 16s. Wow. Cool, man. Thanks. Awesome find, dude. We haven't found any other silver coins since I dug the SLQ. Oh, I, Rosie. Oh. I just hit a target here, down here pretty deep. I haven't even looked at it yet. It's stuck to the clod. I got silver. As I'm doing that, he's over here going, hey, I got silver. So we're going to walk over to Kyle's. Kyle said mine looks like a rosy. Is that what it is? Yeah, yours looks like a rosy. Okay. You see in mine in the clod right there? Oh, his is in the clod right there. Yeah, okay. So you can see, dang it, these stickers are killing my knees. Yeah, they really are. What do you think you got there? Is it deep? I don't was know. it deep? It was all the way down. Oh my there. gosh, dude. Be, be a barber. I mean, it was like. Six, this seven has inches. all the potential to be a barber based on everything else we've dug. And Kyle's going to flip his mind if it's a barber, so everybody be ready. Oh. Oh, it looks like a seated dude. If it is, it's going to be crazy because Kyle's dug. Oh, it's a barber. It's a barber. 1910. Awesome. 1910 barber. And watch, mine's going to be a rosy just because that's the way my luck goes, which I'll be happy with a rosy. Yep, mine's a rosy. So we just dug two silver coins. I kind of wish I had his instead of mine, but that's what we got right there. Just simultaneous holes dug. Kyle dug the barber and I dug the rosy. So I'm going to go take the barber. Here's your rosy, Kyle. No, 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 no. Come on now. <laughs> All right. Way to go, dude. Way to go, man. Oh, you you want to take a picture of that? Yeah, dude? I'm going to. All right. Cool. All right. We'll be back with more, hopefully. Kyle called me over just a minute ago. He thought he had another Indian. It wasn't an Indian. It turned out to be this thing. It's some kind of really cool little decorative like pin or something. Yeah, you can tell there used to be a pin on the oh, back Oh, yeah, there. definitely. It's gold plated at one time. I really bet. neat. Cool find, man. Thank you. All right, back again. We've gone to a new location, actually. And um, we kind of wore that other place out to a certain point. I just found this. I love finding these. Can't really show you more than that because it's got a name on it. But it is a 1960 dog tax tag. And that's pretty cool. I will take that. I've got quite a collection of those. That's a cool find. Older the better, but that's a pretty cool one. I'll take it. All right, I'm back again. Kyle just dug a buffalo nickel right there. Covered his plug back up, stood up, swung over it again. He's like, dude, there's another one in there. So, that's, uh, have to re pinpoint it. But it's an obvious nickel signal. Come in, like right there. Is that it? Wow. That was it. Just a, a pull tab. So there was the one hole. buffalo and then that sounded just like it. There's a pull tab. It goes to show you how weird it can be. I should have got the first buffalo. Yeah. All right, back again. This yard's obviously been hunted, but um, we picked up a couple wheat pennies. Kyle dug a buffalo nickel, which is really cool. Um, I just found this. I found a weedy a little while ago and just found this little lock says Sears on it. Not terribly old, but kind of cool. We'll throw it in the pouch, keep going, see what else we find. All right, just dug that lock and I'm back already. I just found this. These are kind of cool to find. Little turn style deal or turn deal for faucet for an old style faucet. I've got quite a few of these I've found over the years. That's kind of neat. This yard's been picked pretty clean though. But uh, I think the house was built in 18 something though. Pretty cool place, but it's been hit long, long ago. Somebody got all the good stuff. All right, I'm back out at the curb strip. I just had one that was hitting, I don't even know what it is, actually. It was hitting kind of like a 82 on the AT Max. It's this thing. It's decorative looking. Oh, it is really cool. It used to be some kind of buckle of some kind. That's really neat. It's made out of brass or something. It's got a date on it. I think that's a date. 1864. No, wait a minute. That's not a date. Yeah, I think that is. It's dated 1864. That is crazy. I don't know what that is. That's really neat. And we're at a very old house. That's kind of cool. I'll definitely take it. It'll go in the case. All right. Getting kind of desperate. So you start digging signals you normally wouldn't dig, especially when you're... I mean, I look for silver coins, so, you know, I, I like finding other stuff, too, but I don't, I don't want to say I'm a cherry picker, but, you know, I'm interested in finding silver coins. But I'm digging kind of weird stuff now. I just dug this, and it looks silver. I haven't wiped it off yet. It is silver. There's no doubt that's got to be silver. 
little teeny thing. Oh, it's a pin. It's got a pin back on it. It was down there a little ways. I can't tell what that is. My eyes are just not very good. I can't tell what that is. Look at a little handle up here. It's kind of cool. Set it right there and get a good focused in picture of it. A pretty neat little piece. Another piece of silver at least. I'll take it. So it is Sunday. Me and Kyle here. We're back at my house. Started out with fishing gear. We took all this fishing gear, had a cooler. We were going to go out and go get some fish today. Didn't work out. Fished for a couple hours maybe. Decided to go do a little treasure hunting. We are glad we did because this was a really good day. Kyle, you show me your stuff first, dude. Tell them. 1910 Barber. Awesome find. Mark. And you watched all these things be dug. The patina on this weed is just gorgeous. It's crazy. It looks like an Indian. Yeah, it really does. 1927 Buffalo, uh, D mint mark. No date. Uh, more. All these weeds are from mostly the teens and 20s, all in here. All these. And then these two Indians up top are gorgeous. Those Indians are. Look at those, dude. 1908, 1902. Those are awesome. I did not get an Indian. Then all kinds of other cool stuff. Lipstick, harmonica reed, this kind of little buckle, old gas valve, which is kind of cool. This item is really neat. That was some kind of little brooch or something. This was in a yard. Pretty cool item. Chuck E. Cheese token. Oh, and for all y'all naysayers out there, we do dig our fair share of Oh, trash. yeah, he's got a pile of crap in there. Dude, you dug a ton of trash today. He dug this... He took a lot more trash than I did. Mine, I've already emptied mine once. I don't know what's in there. I'm not going to show you all of my I'll show you some of it, though, but just for the heck of it to show you, there's some clad, and there's, I've already emptied it one time. Oh, I forgot that's in there. That's kind of cool. Hold on. I want to show you all that. And there was the lock I dug. I forgot about that. And then there is the, this little deal. That deal. Okay, this wrap-up's getting kind of crazy. So that was a drawer pull right there. And it's got a date on the back of it. It's kind of weird. It says 1864 on it. I don't know if that has anything to do with the date, but it's old and it's heavy. Lantern part. Part of an old bottle. Really cool skeleton key. Only the second skeleton key I've ever found. It's so cool. Love that. And Kyle Sug, how many have you got? Three? Uh, four. I've four. Four. I, I gave one to the helmet because it was the key to the back. Cool door. stuff. We saw that. That SLQ is just really pretty. I just sprayed it off. I haven't washed it up or anything much. Oh, Doug, the rosy. That piece is silver. Not sure exactly. I need to clean that up a little bit. The little ring there. Wheaties. And then some oddballs for me. A V-nickel. I don't get V-nickels very much. There we go. Focus it in there. Cool buffalo. And what did you tell me the V was, Kyle? 1907. 1907 V. Let's see if I can see that date even. It's real crusty. Yeah, it is, but it's a 1907. So we had a pretty awesome day. Man, we're pretty happy about it. I hope everybody enjoys the video, and I'm sure there'll be another video coming soon.